Hi, dear Sagittarius. Let's take a beautiful deep breath in and raise our vibration. So we are going to ask for Spirit to show you your blocks in relationship life, and then we're going to take it from there. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ooh. Thank you so much. Watch your tongue. Oh, my goodness. I am feeling that. Watch your tongue, the battling. Uh, watch what you say. Think twice before you say it, okay? That's right. Okay. So you have the spirit, the energy of the farm and scribe or writer, but you can't go anywhere but up. I feel like the obstacle here is simplicity and being able to just take it back to nature, plants, just um, family, and whether you are literally um, being asked to live more off the land than in the city and also I just feel like with scribe or writer here the block is not being able to express yourself and I feel like the I feel oh gosh I feel really strongly Sag That you've been living for other people and that is huge but the good thing is there's nothing but up from here on out there's nowhere to go but up and you do not have to live your life for other for everybody else you certainly can still respect your family and tradition and culture and um, legacy and everything, responsibilities, inheritance, the whole nine yards, but you can do it your way. You can do it your way. The solution is to master your emotions and to really recognize that spirit knows family is really embedded in your love life and that block though is unhealthy and so once you are focusing on your sacral chakra I want you to get something that's tangerine orange um, and just hold on to it while you're meditating uh, when you feel that that fear come up in relationship life, um, hold it and vibrate on it. You know, start eating oranges more, tangerines, and um, really, literally, it can be anything orange. Doesn't have to be a crystal. Doesn't have to be a stone. Um, it's all gonna boil down to being of the earth and of being um, natural and so um, and pure. So you just want to use it as that tool that you can really pull from. You're pulling from that energy, okay? So again, you're just holding something that is orange in hue, tangerine, um, something, or you can even touch something. As you can see right here, this is kind of orange. This is orange, peach. And if I'm feeling like, oh, my emotions are getting out of control, in my love life, I'm feeling like I just can't do anything right with my partner or I want to do this right for my family. I want, I have dreams and aspirations, but my partner doesn't 
have the same and we're struggling with that or I've got to be a parent right now and I really want to be off parasailing and backpacking through, you know, Europe or whatever it is. Let me just gain control of my emotions in that moment. Breathe it in. Exhale out the stress. And focus. Nothing but up from here. Nothing but up. I feel like many of you have been told you bet the farm on investments in your love life and that caused an imbalance. And Spirit is saying definitely do what you got to do to get things back into harmony. Um, sometimes you just got to step away and you have to go right out into the country um, because you're too close to it. You're too fragmented all over the place. Emotions out of control. So do whatever it takes to get grounded now. Okay, Sag? Um, the polarities of your spiritual pursuits and physical pleasures are out of balance. So do whatever is necessary to bring them back into equilibrium again. Mastering your emotions. So certainly focusing on your sacral chakra. Let me just stop right here and share with you what I feel the energy in the stars is uh, blessing you with this month. So you come into October and I feel like this is a, is this true love? I feel like that's the question on your soul is, is this true love? Um, you know, did I get married because we got pregnant or because it was something to do or this, you know, I feel like I could get anybody else or, um, you know, are we falling out of love? Do we need to reignite the passion? But that also is intertwined with legacy and children and are you spending enough time with your children are you creating the type of legacy and inheritance that you really want for your unborn children for your children that you've got um your grandchildren all of this means something and um who is your legacy you know what is your legacy um if you don't have any children I feel like all of that's coming up, but also your love of creative expression and just romance is really up for reflection. And I just want you to know that you do have true love sitting right there in front of you. Around the 16th, there's this new moon, and this is a great time to really solidify your feelings on true love and how children fit into that for you and how being playful and flirtatious fits in um, your life, in your love life for you because there's this newness of friends becoming lovers and this just this manifested reality of your hopes, wishes, and dreams in your love life. And so take that step take that leap of faith and know that you're going to land on your feet and reignite the love that you have in your in your partnership in your marriage if you're single honey let me tell you if you've got your eye on somebody take that leap of faith and have a virtual date go out and be safe and have a six feet date if you need to you know this social distancing have your mask on but Enjoy yourself. Go for a walk with, with this person that you've got your eye on because there's somebody there. And at the end of the month, dear Sag, you're going to see what's healthiest for you. I really feel like you're like, you know what? I got to change my routine. Either I'm working too much and I'm not giving enough balance to my love life. Um, my spouse wants to divorce me because I'm not spending enough time with them. You know, um... I think these two definitely um or you know you're still single because you're focusing on business on cash flow all of that but i feel like you're really starting to see how your routine can change and how your work-life balance needs to be looked at so there you go you got your sacral chakra Okay, so please focus on it. And Spirit is so blessed. You're so blessed to get to get 
uh, uh, affirmation for your sacral chakra. So definitely want you to harmonize with that this month. 10, spirit of this new beginning, this new foundation you're building with God right there, pushing you and pulling you and blessing you and not letting you go. I feel comfortable in my own body and I'm sensitive to other people's feelings. And then you also have 33 with sun goddess, this new foundation of balance is here waiting for you with orange again. I celebrate each sunrise and recognize the healthy energies of the sun. And you vibrate right on with that beautiful, passionate, fiery energy. And that's beautiful. It's a beautiful month for you. You certainly deserve it. Okay, there's your children there. We talked about that. Spirit showed you that already, so I won't go into detail about it. But... If there's anything that I can do for you, dear Sag, I'm here for you. I look forward to speaking with you soon, and I look forward to reading for you very soon. Take great care.